What's good everybody, it's your boy Slint aka Mr. Different back with another video. Today we're going to continue our sampling journey and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to chop your samples on FL Studio using nothing but stop plugins because you know we like to use stop plugins because we're broke game, we're free, that's how it is. You guys really enjoyed the sample is easy video. Thank you guys a lot for that. I'll put that up there because I'm not going to touch over all the techniques in that video. Watch that video if you want to learn how to actually get your samples and actually get them in perfectly in tune or time and whatever. Watch that video, card up below, up above, whatever. Blah. In this video, I'm going to talk about nothing but chopping your samples up so you get them, you know, get that, get, get that kind of boom, bad feeling, get that movement. But if you can, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Mr. Different TV. Also subscribe to the channel because only 80% of you guys are not subscribed. Why? You come watch my channels, you don't you like the videos and all that, but you don't subscribe. Think about subscribing. Help your brother out. I'm trying to just grow the channel, you know, continue making these free videos for you guys. So I can only do that if you subscribe to the channel. So let's jump right inside FS Studio and get to work. So here we are inside FS Studio. I got a little sample, a little gospel sample from the Clark Sisters. Here it is. Just a little perfect loop, blah, blah, blah. Watch the video if you want to know how to do that. So let's go ahead and chop this up. Now, in most cases, most DAWs out there, they have a cool little auto slice feature. Edison does as well, but it's not too accurate, which I wish they'd work on that, but it can be used as a good starting point. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it to actually chop stuff up and get more control, because I don't like letting the computer do it, unless it's something like Ableton, of course, because Ableton got like the best slicing functions out there, but I'm a FL Studio guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to the video. So let's go ahead and show you how we do that. So all you gotta do is if you go right here, once you got everything synced up and all that, like I showed you in my last video, if you go to this little marker button right here besides little rich tool, you go to auto slice. Now, I try to avoid using dull auto slices or any of these three because they just don't really do too good. I usually would stick down to right here where it slices to the grid. That's probably the best way to go. Now for this sample, since it's only about eight bars and I only wanna have, you know, just a little bit of sl slices in there, I'm just gonna use the large grid slicing. And it's going to give me this right here. Now, it's not going to be perfect, of course. I'm going to have to go in and do some fine tuning and add like one at the end that I don't need. So let's delete that one, just send that one goodbye. And then let's go ahead and do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and I'm going to move the markers on the transients. The transients are the initial attack of a snare, kick, drum, clap, whatever like that. And you want, that's like, you know, you want to count it down. So like, you know, the one, two, three, boom, one, two, three, that kind of thing. That's what you want to do. And that's going to get you the best results. So just watch how I do that. All right, so there we go. So as you see, I'm moving it right on the transit. So every time a snare hits or whatever, that's where a marker is set. So. See, pretty simple. Now you can zoom in and get all fine tuning and all that good stuff. Micro detail people, you, you perfectionists out there who got all these beats but don't put none of them out there for anybody to hear or anything like that. You know who you are, the haters, especially you. Yeah, you could do that. We're not going to do that in this video. We're going to keep it pretty simple and kind of loose and all that. So now, in theory, I should be able to play it on my MIDI keyboard. Hopefully it works this time. I can play it on my MIDI keyboard, so we'll see. And there you go. Now you can start doing your boom bat. But what if you want more control over these slices and, you know, maybe pitch them down and stuff like that and kind of clean them up? Then all you got to do is add something like slice X, which is really dope. You just drag right here from your little, the little button right there. Well, I don't know it was called the little drag button. And you just, oh, wait, you got to make sure you unselect when you do that. Because if you don't unselect, it only drag in what's highlighted. So let's set that on default real quick. And let's do it again. And then all my slices are in there inside slice X. And now you can just, you know, pitch them down. Okay, let's, 
let's just lay that down. So we'll just really remove these slices and then let's just play it in there. All right, that probably sounded pretty bad, but you know, with the magic of the MIDI roll and editing, we can kind of fix it up. So let's clean up a little bit. So yeah. And it's just like, make that longer, make everything longer, so. Okay, then we can just bring this one down. I'll be right back. Let me just add a drum. Let me just add some drums to that real quick. All right, so now I'm back and I added a little bit of hi-hat snare and drum to it. And now look what it sounds like. Easy, simple right there. Now you guys can see how easy it is to sample and chop your beats inside of FL Studio using nothing but stop plugging. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, make sure that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video. We're gonna process these samples and make a sound, you know, unrecognizable, stuff like that. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, y'all know who it is, your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different. Not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. Don't forget the subs. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.